Hey guys, Colonel 16 here. Today is date August 13th, 2013. Uh, by now, all of you guys have, mostly all of you guys have probably seen this story about Gary, Bruce Gary's uh, pictures that he took of Comet Ison on the 12th, which was yesterday, and how he said it was a magnitude 14. Now, uh, going on over here to a story that Sky and Telescope did. Now, I want to first point out that I don't agree with everything Sky and Telescope is saying in this article. But they do point out some very true facts of the situation with Comet Ison. And the title of this is Comet Ison Spotted Again and Not Looking Good. Now, what do they mean by that? Because I've seen some very strange reaction to uh, Bruce's story, Bruce Gary's uh, story of how, you know, his pictures and his information he has of Comet Ison. What people are failing to realize is that it was good that he spotted Comet Ison. There's really nothing unusual about that. But the, the, the moral of the story is Comet Ison is not as bright as it's supposed to be or as it was predicted to be. And people are seemingly, uh, from what I've seen, they're missing that point that the comet is not as bright as it should be. Now, since June, Comet Ison has been hidden behind the sun. Now, an amateur imager has just recovered it low in the dawn, and it hasn't been brightening as hoped. Uh, and they go on to say, here, don't bet on a naked eye spectacle this December. This is what the Sky and Telescope is saying here. Now, I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, but it says here a couple of weeks ago earlier than we expected, amateur imager Bruce Gary in, Am in Arizona has apparently become the first person to pick up Comet Ison again after its two and a half month intermission behind the glare of the sun. Now, using an 11 inch, 11 inch scope pointing very low in the eastern dawn, and by stacking images, he succeeded in recording a fuzzy point with an anti-sunward tail at Comet Ison's expected prediction position among the stars that are as faint as a magnitude 16. Now measuring the image, Gary comes up with a V magnitude of 14.3 plus 0 0.2 for the comet that is being so widely anticipated worldwide. Now. This, the article goes on to point this particular fact out that people aren't, I guess, not picking up on here. And this is a fact. That's two magnitudes fainter than the comet should be compared to the formula that led astronomers to predict it would become a fine naked eye sight before dawn in early December. It's no improvement on the same two magnitude deficit the comet was showing when astronomers last had good looks of it in May and in June. And it goes on to point out uh, Gary's report and, uh, and other things of that nature. So, in simple, term, in, in simple terms, guys, Common Ison hasn't gotten any brighter. Okay? It, it is just the same, pretty much the same magnitude it was in the video that I made a couple of videos back about Ison, telling you that it had gotten a little dimmer. And this story is saying that it has not gotten any brighter. Okay, it hasn't gotten any brighter. Now, anyone who doesn't believe what I'm saying here, uh, simply go look up formulas on calculating celestial objects, and you'll come to the same conclusion, guys. The comet has not gotten any brighter, and it's actually two magnitudes dimmer than what they predicted it to be. And I, for whatever reason, not many people are picking up on that. I don't know why that is. I mean, it's, it's simple mathematics, guys, and, and it comes down to that. Uh, point blank. Now, I haven't been able to view Comet Ison here in West Arkansas at all because we've, it's for some strange reason, it's been raining ever since August began, has begun. So I, I have no idea why it's been raining so much here. I have not even had a chance to go and attempt to even look at Ison. But the moment I do, I guarantee you I will get some uh, pictures up here of Ison and our own observations. But uh, Congratulations to Bruce Gary. Uh, Bruce Gary has not done anything wrong, guys. He's done everything like he was supposed to, but it's just simple. The calculation that he used to determine the brightness of Ison is a different calculation. There are many you can use, but when you break it down, guys, it simply means that the comet has not gotten any brighter. That's all it is. Now, I'm sure within the next three weeks, and I'll say this here, we will know what's going to happen to Comet Ison. Will it get brighter, as predicted in these charts right here? Or will it remain the same, or will it get torn apart? 
I predict we'll find out for sure within the next three, let's say four to week, three to four weeks to be on the safe side. And uh, I, again, guys, I really don't know why people aren't picking up on the fact that in this story, if you look at the data and you break down what Bruce Gary has on his site here and he's showing you here, uh, the comet is no brighter than it was back in June when we last saw it. Anyway, guys, just wanted to give you that quick and brief update. All the links are under this video, guys. If you don't believe what I say, simply just go check it out for yourselves and ask a, a, an astronomer, and they'll tell you the same thing I'm telling you guys. Uh, nothing's really changed with Comet Ison, but it's still holding together, and that is a good sign. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. God bless.